Hey guys, welcome to Mana Spark. This is a brand new roguelike game that is comparable to Dark Souls and The Binding of Isaac. It is really fun so far. I did a couple runs ahead of time so that I could get used to the controls and I like it a lot. This is our camp. This guy you can talk to for level ups. I can't afford anything yet. I'm not a high enough level, but you can get like a bear trap and a sticky web. And then this guy is bringing in more volunteers. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Very excited to share this with you. This game comes out on Steam September 27th, so we're getting an early look at it, which is really cool. You can play with either keyboard and mouse or controller. I am using the controller. You only have a bow and arrow for your weapon, and you also have a roll, and that's it. And you do have to stand still when shooting the arrow. So you have to be pretty precise about your movements so that you don't die. There are upgrades you can get throughout the game. I got some boots before. I got a petrified finger. I got some other stuff that I just can't remember because I did a few runs. But there's a lot of cool upgrades and different things you can unlock during the game. So there's our exit to the next area. This first area is pretty easy. Oh, as that guy just nails me or takes a bite out of my butt. But the next area, it gets real. Ooh, there's a bunch of money in here. Nice. That's good. We need that. And I really like the style of the game. I like pixel art. And I also like our character, the Faceless Archer. Alright, so we didn't get any meat. And that is the first area. So far, I've only made it to the second area. And then I've gotten destroyed there by these crazy skeletons. But I'm hoping, since I'm doing a recording, I'll have some luck. Because you guys are here for me. You guys are offering that moral support. So, if you guys like what you see so far, definitely leave a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see a full series on YouTube. Otherwise, I will be playing more of this game during my live streams. So, come on over and check it out over there. Last time I had this sweet upgrade that allowed me to shoot two arrows at once. It was awesome. So, I'm hoping to get something like that again. Right, we eliminated one plant. And we almost got a second one. Also, when the square goes around on my little cursor like that, that's my reload time. I can't shoot until that goes away. Alright, there we go. We got a chest. Give me something good. Ooh, a spider. I've never got this before. Slow down enemies when hit. Ooh, that's really good. It's really good because some of the enemies get really fast. Alright, so here's our exit. I could use some meat. I love the little sound effects in this game. <laughs> oh, this guy. This guy can be a nuisance because he can ride that wolf. Doesn't look like he's going to mount him. That's good. Oh no, he's going for him. Alright, now he's even stronger. Oh, this guy's got that turtle icon above his head. That's cool. Look at all the arrows sticking out of him. <laughs> looks like a porcupine or a cactus. Dodge out of the way of that. This enemy slowdown is very useful. Alright, we got a pig here. The pig should drop meat. Oh, yeah. Nice. Use that meat. I gotta move out of the way. I can't roll when I'm loading up an arrow. So you gotta make a decision on if you're gonna attack or if you're gonna evade. And I got that meat, just in case. Whoa. And there's more meat there. Can't eat it or anything. Oh, I did take it with me. Alright. So that was the first zone. Now is when it really gets tough. Alright, so here's the store and the room to save your game if you want to. 
So we can either buy this potion here, which I don't think is worth it right now because we're full health, or we can activate this and then we can pick an upgrade. Ooh, I've never seen this one. Damage way up, health down. This is the double arrows, which is really good. And this is that finger that I had. I'm gonna get the double arrows because that was really good last time. And then you can save it at the bed if you want to. But we are gonna continue on. This game is super fun so far. Really, really like what they're doing here with it. All right, we can't go that way. But we can go down here. I'm gonna flip that switch right away. We got that guy. These little guys are pretty easy. We're gonna encounter a bunch of skeletons that are tough in this area. Goblin ear, coins, luck up. All right, cool. All right, so here we have our first skeleton. I don't exactly know how I want to play this for sure because this guy's going to rush me. All right, I can't go around the box. Can I break through? No, I cannot. All right, I got to stay in this long area. I do have the double arrows, which is awesome. This is going to make it a little bit easier. I'm hoping to get to a boss with you guys here. I have not made it to a boss yet. And we destroyed both of them. And we have meat if we need it, we can come back and get it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna have to come back and get that meat. I wasn't sure if I could get through the table or not. And the answer was not. Oh, we're dead. Jeez. All right, this game is hard, no joke. You need more health or armor or something. And this end part's pretty cool. You can see your death in slow motion and you can even zoom in and stuff, which is pretty cool. You can save the GIF as well if you want to share it. All right, so let's go back to the camp. I do want to do another run. I'll cut forward until I get to that second floor, but let's see what is going on here at camp. All right, so we want to give this guy more runes for the volunteers. And this guy's new. What do you got? Okay, so this guy's gonna maybe fill me up with food. Or maybe I gotta give him food. Let's see if I can get an upgrade. Okay, so I need five runes to unlock those. Alright, I'm gonna cut forward till we get to the second floor. I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we are at the buried tunnels. And this area is huge. I got a bunch of new items that look really cool and useful. This bat guy will give me health back depending on how many enemies I kill. And the other thing is poison. So as long as I connect, I will poison the enemy. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Just let him die. Let him die with the poison. You cannot move while holding that charge down either, so that's tough. Especially on these guys, because these guys do a lot of damage. Alright, I got him poisoned. Nice, he died. Perfect. Alright, I gotta be careful for these traps. Oh, he saw me. Shoot. Alright, we got double poison. Nice, and he dropped some meat. Perfect. This area is gonna be tough. All right, we'll go up. All right, three little minions down. We got a bunch to go. Come on, step over here. That was a close one. You gotta use the environment to your advantage in this game. Because your roll and your shot goes on cooldown for a while. So you gotta be very smart with it. Oh, how did I miss? He was tired too. Oof! I gotta get out of here. 
Oh, he's dead. All right. Whew. Thought I was gonna die. All right, we got two enemies left in this room. Looks like little guys. Very nice. Okay, there is meat right here. That is perfect. We'll clear out the top area first. I got really good upgrades right now, in my opinion. The poison shot and the ability to get health back is excellent. Now I just need the double arrows. Shout out that light. Man, I can't hit this guy. There we go. Come on, die from that poison. Nice. Poison OP. Whoa! Alright, this guy sees me not good. Whoa, that was a quick roll. Whoa! I do have meat to pick up, so that's good. I'll open that. I'll grab that too, just in case. Alright, so that opened the door all the way down on the right side. So we're gonna make our way down there. Nice. Whoa, I forgot about that guy's lunge. That should kill him. I don't know what these things are. I've never seen these. I'm gonna open this chest first. Alright, we got the finger. Everybody, pull my finger. Alright, that should kill him. Perfect. And we got everything here. I'm gonna go in this room right here, right below us. And then we'll go to the one to the right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that poison? That is poison. Nice, I can just walk him into that. We got one poison. That's good. That's all we really need. Perfect. This room looks dangerous. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, we got them all. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. We got the money. Let's get out of there. All right, I'm gonna take out this one guy first because he lunges at me. Wow, that was close. Nice. All right, we did it. This is the exit. I'm going to take it. I don't really feel like walking back to see what's in those other rooms. You probably should check them all out just in case there's a chest. But that's okay. We're going to check out the library. Get our read on. Oh, it's all in a different language. Well, this might be a boss fight. The librarian. Oh, it is. The knowledge. <laughs> I'm gonna poke his eye out. Oh, he's got a big old laser. He's like the Beholder from Gungeon. Seems to be pretty slow, which is good. If I could poison him, that would be great.
Oh, I'm not even hitting him there. I think I need to hit him in the eye somehow. Oh, I'm petrified. I don't know what this does. No, it's going to kill me. There we go. Alright, so I gotta make sure and hit him in the eye. No, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, unless I can move. Oh, The little dude froze me and then I was just a sitting duck. Bummer. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Let me know if you want to see more in the comments and leave a thumbs up if you want to see more as well. Have a good day.